Welcome. You have reached review time with Imperial. Today review will be the movie Replicas. So this is the second movie of the 2019 year that I'm reviewing. So let's get into it. So I I've, I've been seeing the, you know the previews and the trailers for this movie that came out of nowhere towards the end of last year and it was rather interesting. Keanu Reeves of course is starring in this film and uh he's a, a good actor, you know what I'm saying? You of course you know all his movies, Matrix. He has a whole line of movies that um he's in, but uh his recent is the John Wick series and part three is coming out this year so most of us will be looking forward to that so um the cast is pretty much of uh only other familiar faces that are um is Thomas Middleditch he played in a few um he plays in uh this series on HBO Silicon Valley pretty uh, funny funny uh, show on HBO he's also the guy that you always see in the Verizon commercials the new Verizon commercials so he's the lead in the new Verizon commercials and there was uh, Alice Eve she's also she plays the wife um, to Keanu Reeves character Alice Reeves Eve I'm sorry her most recent that you might remember her in, she was, uh, she played in, um, Iron Fist Season 2 as a, a mercenary slash good, good girl. Like, she kept going back and forth. She also was most notable. She was in that movie, um, She's Out of My League. It was a comedy years ago. That's what I really remember her from. Other than that, let's get into the movie. So, um, Keanu Reeves' character, he is a um, brilliant urologist, scientist. And they're experimenting with people longing to become immortal. That's what they're trying to do. They was trying to take somebody who just recently passed away, take their um, memory and neurology out of their brain, and transport it into a robot. And it, it kept failing. So Keanu Reeves' character, was he was deep. He really wanted to see this work. The project, they didn't try so many times, the project great fall apart. So his buddy, Edward, which is uh, Thomas Middleditch character, Edward, he was like his roly, like, come on, man, we're going to do this. So he stuck by him. So nevertheless, they were Gary go away for the weekend. And just like you see on the trailer, they get in an accident. So the trailer pretty much... Uh, tells the whole movie this movie was like an hour and 46 minutes something like that and um it was an okay movie let's just say that so the trailer pretty much told the, the basis of the movie car crash the family died and of course he does the unthinkable and can't deal with his family dying and he has the idea of Let's clone him. Now that hasn't been done. His his friend Edward has been experiment with like animals and stuff like that, but it was never successful. So he's desperate now because his whole family died in a car crash. And so what took place is he got the neurology out of his family, and um. He asked his friend to get rid of the bodies. See, I watched movies all the time. So I already knew, like, what's going to happen with this situation. So he told him he couldn't do it, get rid of the bodies. He said, okay. When he showed back to the house with the equipment, he only had three capsules. But his he had a family of four, his wife and three kids. 
So he had to choose which three he could bring back. And he chose his wife and the two oldest kids. And so that was a hard pill to swallow or whatever. So nevertheless, they went through this and the third, but it still wouldn't work. So he figured out that what he was missing, why it wouldn't work for when it was transporting a robot. He found out that the brain controls the body. It doesn't know that what's going on. And when the brain sees that it's metal, the brain freaks out. So you got to manipulate the brain to let the brain think that the metal is a human form. So um, that's how he was able to get his family back because he their brain would instantly see that they got the flesh and they become the mold cells but instantly as they were they came back to life they were a little off you know the wife felt something in her or whatever and she knew something was off the, the daughter had a nightmare because she relived them dying and so then what he did, he went, he has a hookup where he can hook her up and erase her bad memory of the, of the nightmare. And he forgot to do that when he was programming their, um, their minds when bringing them back to life. So the wife caught him and, uh, cause she already knew something was off and he told her what took place. But instead of her freaking out, she was with it. She pretty much was like, yo, um, all right, you know, she like, this is messed up, but this is what it is now. Because he, he hit her with, like, what would you do if if shoes was on other foot, with, you know. So, nevertheless, the head dude that runs the program, he pretty much uh, comes to the house. And he knows what he did because the bodies that his friend Edward was supposed to get rid of, he didn't get rid of, of course. And he found the body, so he knew what he did. And so they were on a chase because they want to kill the family. Like, we can't let this fam let this get out. But we, what you have done, we could make a whole bunch of money out of. You, got, you need to kill those subjects, but we're going to make money. So he can't let his family get killed, but you're going to take my everything that I know, that I discovered. So they had a tracking system that was inside of them so the wife figured out if we shock ourselves we can fry the um the tracking device that's inside of us so they did that and eventually they captured them and see it showed where it was a scene where the husband keanu reeves he figured out how to transport to get the robot to work and he had a vision where if he took the neurology out of himself and put it in the robot, he could control the robot and have the robot think and look like it's normal. So that's, you know, when the bad guys captured him and he had to, his family was kidnapped. That's basically what he did. He, he programmed the robot. The robot came alive. And now he was himself, but he also controlled the robot with the mind. And the robot came and saved the day, pretty much. Meanwhile, he found out that the corporation they've been working for was just a, like a front. They really underneath some other type of corporation. So the head dude, he killed him. But what he did was he brought him back to life and he re. The robot became an entity of his own. So the robot brought the dude back to life and programmed him to pretty much so that they can take over the world. So if this movie does well in the box office, it could be a part two. But if it doesn't, then, you know, it is what it is. Movie. In a nutshell, I just gave you the most the bulk of the movie. It was just an okay movie. It's not a theater movie, though. This movie shouldn't have made the theaters. This movie is a Netflix and chill type movie type deal. This is a movie that um, 
one back in the day, straight to DVD. It's one of those type movies, a movie that could have showed up on HBO Premium, something like that. Straight to Netflix, Amazon um, Prime, something like that. But it's definitely not a theater movie. So out of my uh, four-star rating system, it is watchable because of the actors and actresses that they have in there. So out of my four-star rating system, I'm going to give it a 1.5 out of four stars. It's watchable, but, you know, nothing spectacular. And um, it didn't get, you know, really going into, like, the last 30, 40 minutes of the movie, maybe maybe the last 30 minutes of the movie. So... Stay tuned, subscribe, like, share the video. Stay tuned to the next time.